Hey Bulldogs, let's see what's happening this week on Code Blue News. Brianna brings us another Artist of the Month. George talks about the recent impeachment proceedings. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Hey Bulldogs, welcome back to Code Blue News Season 3. I'm Matthew Messina, here with Joe McLaughlin, six feet apart. On Tuesday, College Board announced that they would be changing the structure of their SATs. They decided to discontinue both the SAT subject tests and the optional essay. College Board has cited the need to streamline the process. Today is the one-year anniversary of when the first COVID case was detected in the U.S., according to the CDC. Let's hope we can return to some sense of normal this year. Moving on, let's go to Brianna Graziano, who's here with another Artist of the Month, this time with the spotlight on Kaylee Mingola. I started making my own accessories probably like two years ago, uh, and then a little after that I set up my own booth at a craft fair. I would say all of my family and friends inspired me, and they all were really supportive of it, and I have always loved doing my own thing, making my own stuff, so it probably came from when I was younger too. Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and then when pre-COVID I did a lot of craft fairs and festivals and stuff like that. Um, I would say that there's been a lot of challenges, especially with COVID, but I've been really good at turning everything into an opportunity. If you're looking to start your own business, just do it. Like It sounds cliche, but start small, uh, stay motivated, and uh, be creative. I honestly haven't like fully thought about how long term this could go. I just know that it's working well for me right now. It's something that I can do and to make money too. But if there was an opportunity for me to do it in the future, I think I would take it. Thanks, Brianna. There's some breaking Olympic news. Japan has concluded that the 2021 Olympics will have to be canceled due to the current pandemic. Now they are currently trying to secure the hosting rights for the 2032 Olympic Games. As everyone knows by now, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were inaugurated on Wednesday. Biden is now the 46th and oldest president, and Harris is the first female woman of color to be vice president. Former Vice President Mike Pence attended the inauguration, but former President Donald Trump did not. He instead left for Florida a few hours before the event. Speaking of Donald Trump, let's learn more about the impeachment process with George. Is adopted without objection. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. President Donald Trump has officially been impeached a second time. Trump's impeachment by the House of Representatives of the 117th U.S. Congress came after his attempts to overturn the 2020 United States election and inciting the Capitol riot insurrection. The adopted article of incitement of insurrection cited his speech outside the Capitol on January 6th where he urged his supporters to never give up and that he'd march to the Capitol with them. Impeachment is where the House of Representatives uh, pretty much decides to hold the uh, president or another elected official um, accountable for what they would deem as high crimes and misdemeanors. It was, fa it was fairly uncommon, and depending on these instances, it's often been argued by one or the other sides that it's a political motive, for, depending on what, uh, what side was you know, getting impeached. Although this was only the article, Trump also was involved in another possible impeachable offense days earlier on January 2nd. Trump called Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. I have to find 12,000 votes, and I have them times a lot, and therefore I won the state. I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Uh, you know, we have that in spades already. They're uh, changing the equipment on the... Uh, on the Dominion machines, and, you know, then that's not legal. We did a hand retally, a 100% retally of all the ballots, and compared that to what the machine said, and, and it came up with virtually the same result. With all this news about impeachment, and a question rises. How often has impeachment been used? Not very often. 
Trump is the only president to be impeached twice in his term. Only two U.S. presidents faced impeachment before Trump, Andrew Johnson in 1868 over his constant vetoing of Congress bills during Reconstruction after the Civil War, as well as Bill Clinton in 1999 for lying under oath during the Monica Lewinsky scandal. And finally, Richard Nixon, who resigned before he could be impeached in 1974 over the Watergate scandal. No president has ever been convicted in the Senate in U.S. history. Will this change soon? We'll have to wait and see. This has been George Starr with Code Blue News. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, George. Staying on the topic of presidents and politics, we here at Code Blue News are happy to announce a contest. We all know those memes of Bernie Sanders at the inauguration and his adorable little mittens appearing in various places. We decided to have a contest to see who can create the best Bernie Sanders meme here in Holbrook High. Please submit them on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter and tag us at CodeBlueHMHS. Now turning to some sports, the JV Boys Bulldogs team defeated SSCA 28-20 last night in the gym. On Wednesday, both girls' teams played West Bridgewater. The JV team lost 45-8 and the varsity team lost 60-24, both of which were also at home. You can watch today's games on hcamtv.org or Holbrook Cam on YouTube. Congratulations to the following National Junior Honor Society members who have been elected officers of the organization. President Madison Burnett, Vice President Amy Yip, Secretary Hallie Nasser, and Treasurer Molly Popinga. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to pull the team captains for Code Blue Senior Feud. As a reminder, captains will be able to draft their team out of the pool of selected students. Now, Joe, in an ironic twist, I'm going to let you draft Cohort B. How about you go first? All right. You're going to pick two names. All right, here we go. I have two names here. Uh, Nichelle Pimental. It's Rochelle. Uh, Rochelle, I'm sorry about that. And uh, Brooke Walker. All right. All I most definitely cannot ones. look. It's a goofy hat, but I'm not going to look at it. Dawson Cothelis. Sorry, I butchered that. And Hallie Baldwin. Those are the four captains for Code Blue Senior Feud. It's going to be a classic. Well, that wraps up this week's show. I'm Matt Messina. And I'm Joseph McLaughlin. See you next Friday.